Hey everybody, and welcome to question two associated with the internal validity, external validity, and biases, the basics lecture. As usual, I recommend you pause the video, attempt the question on your own, and then watch the remainder of the video to see whether you did it correctly. So in this case, a randomized clinical trial is performed to look at the effect of swimming in the ocean on acne severity. The study population is teenagers with inflammatory acne, and the participants are randomized to spend one hour per week swimming in the ocean versus a commercial swimming pool. Approximately 25% of study participants drop out over the course of the study, and they are found to have milder acne severity compared to the overall study sample. And we're asked to name one potential threat to internal validity and one potential threat to external validity. So again, internal validity is, do we trust study results? So do we trust the study results? And we remember that the three main threats to, in, to internal validity are selection bias, measurement bias, and confounding. And in this specific case, where they tell us approximately 25% of study participants drop out and that they differ from the underlying study sample, I would specifically be worried about attrition bias, which is a form of bias in which um, the people who are lost to follow-up differ from the people who remain in the study in a significant way. And it's a special form of selection bias. And again, I'll have you know, future videos going into these specific forms of biases. In terms of external validity, we remember that external validity is related to the generalizability of the study results. And basically, can we apply the results to other population? So can we apply results widely? And remember that the two main threats to external validity include special populations and special treatments or exposures. And in this case, you know, even if they find that there is this, you know, association between, or, or that swimming in the ocean leads to improved acne severity, I would be worried about the external validity of these results, given that's a very special treatment or exposure. You know, only people who live on the coast are able to actually access the ocean. And therefore, the, um, the results of the study may not be generalizable to people who live in the Midwest of the United States or um, in the northern part of the United States, places where, you know, they're not able to actually access the ocean. So that would be one major threat to external validity in this case, given that, you know, the results can't be applied to these areas that don't have readily access to um, an ocean. If you had trouble with this lecture, I recommend going back, or if you had trouble with this question, I recommend going back and watching the associated lecture. Um, as usual, please like, comment, subscribe and good luck.